Welcome to day 18 of our time of fasting and prayer on the term and idea, go. Uh, today I want to read to you from Genesis 28. And it is after Jacob deceived his father Isaac to get the blessing from him, stole it from Esau. Esau is in a rage. He said he's going to kill Jacob. Uh, Isaac calls Jacob in and says, you better go. And he says, go to the land of my relatives, Laban and his daughters. And so the idea is being sent away. But that's not exactly where I want to go with this. I'm just using that as the word go. Jacob was running for his life. He was in an arid place. He was in the desert. The Bible says he used a rock to lay down to rest his head. Man, you got to be low to have a rock. That, that That's it. And yet the Bible says it was a good place. Sometimes people, we don't see it as good places because we're looking through eyes of nature and we're sitting there, God, if you would just move, if you would just show up, if you would just do something. Can I tell you this today, that God doesn't have to show up. He's everywhere. He's all around. There's not one inch of the universe that's not filled with his glory, his power, his might. And in the, your way, it looks like, man, nothing's happening. It's a good place because God is there. And I want to encourage you as you go, God is with you. Look what Jacob did. He saw this vision of heaven. And then he said, I awoke. And he said, I didn't realize the Lord was in this place. I wasn't aware of it. And that's what I want to do with go. God, help us to be aware of what you're doing all around us, where you are. Look at the Bible says in John to give us some New Testament convict, um, context for this. It says, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. Soon the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Since I live, you will also live. You know what that says to us? That Holy Spirit is in us, he's empowering us, and because he lives in us and he's empowering us, we're gonna see God where other people are seeing disaster. There's so much news that can put depression on us, a heaviness, a weight on our lives. But the Bible says that we can see what God is doing in the midst. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna have perfect clarity of that, but I can rest in the hope that we are not abandoned, that the air place that you're in, the pillow that you're using is a rock, and you go, what in the world is happening? God is highly aware of what you're going through. He is highly aware of what's happening around you, and he will give you the ability to see him. Peace will be in your heart. It will reign. Joy can come into your life. And he says, when nobody else is seeing me, you will see me. Be encouraged by that today. Let me pray that over you. Father, I just pray right now that people will see that you are everywhere. There's not an inch of the world that's not yours. It's all yours. Every square inch of this world cries out, mine, that you possess it. And someday the, your glory is going to cover the world and we will rejoice in that day. But until that day, I speak over people that are going through dry, arid places. Father, they don't see you, but you promise that there be a hope of your Holy Spirit being with us. I ask that you would open up our eyes to that understanding today in your incredible name. Amen. Have a great day.